Many of you undoubtedly know about the marshmallow test, where children try their hardest to wait for an experimenter's return so that they can receive their desired reward of two marshmallows, but eventually, ultimately, give up and take one marshmallow instead. Why do these children quit? You might think that they quit because they lack self-control, but this assumes that the waiting for a second marshmallow is like waiting for a 60-second lecture to end. If it made sense to start waiting at the beginning, as time passes, you're only getting closer to the end, so why would you quit unless due to some form of personal weakness? But unlike the end of a 60-second lecture, the children in the marshmallow test have no idea when the second marshmallow is coming. And in this case, it's more like waiting for a friend to respond to a text. At the beginning, anything is possible. They could be responding immediately. But as the minutes pass, it becomes more likely that you're in for a longer wait than you initially expected. And at some point, that wait may no longer be worth it to you. Understanding why kids in the marshmallow test quit suggests that we might bolster our own pursuits of our own personal second marshmallows by shaping them to be less like waiting for a friend to respond to a text and more like waiting for a 60-second lecture to finally end. Thank you.